Nearly 3 million people around the world have died as a result of COVID-19 since the beginning of the pandemic. There are few therapeutic treatments for the seriously ill, but a Brisbane biotech firm may have the answer. Current research was in response to the pandemic of COVID-19 and our realisation that one of the big problems that patients got into with this disease is too much inflammation. One of the main features of COVID-19 is what's known as a cytokine storm, where the patient's immune system goes into overdrive, causing severe inflammation and damage to the lungs and other organs. The inflammatory molecules, of course, are there to protect you if you've got an infection, but if they persist and there's too much of them, they can cause damage. Two clinical trials involving 400 COVID patients are underway in 20 hospitals across the United States to test whether the drug IC14 can help stop the process in its tracks. Uh, we're hoping that this uh, antibody will block the amount of inflammation and uh, hasten the improvement uh, to where people are able to get off of extra oxygen and uh, we hope get out of the hospital sooner. Unlike other anti-inflammatory drugs, IC14 stops the inflammatory response right at the start by blocking the immune system's master switch, a protein called CD14. Professor Ian Fraser and his team acquired IC14 more than a decade ago and have been studying its ability to treat a range of illnesses, including motor neurone disease. But this is a true breakthrough for a range of diseases, uh, most of which are life-threatening. Researchers expect to know within three months whether the drug is working as a treatment for COVID-19. Daya Clark, ABC News.